couple of years, there's a lot more people out there than there used to be. Um, and again, I, I don't personally have any problem with people being out there and experiencing, you know, weather because they love it and they, and they want to see it, and that's, and that's fine, that's their prerogative. And just as long as being safe, obeying traffic laws, um, and, and doing the right thing. I mean, there are times where, you know, I, I will admit that we haven't always done the right thing and someone has called us out, hey, you weren't off the road like you should have been, or whatever, and the next time, you know, we're, we're communicating to our, our team, hey guys, you know, that's why when we were, in particular, was, I was very mindful of it in this tornado, because we didn't want to just pull over. There was an extra wide shoulder that was at least six feet wide. It was paved. And it's like, all right, this is the spot. We're safely off the road. Um, but, you know, it's things like that. It's, it's the little things sometimes that mean a lot, where you don't realize what you're doing until someone behind you is trying to get by or says, hey, watch, watch next time. And then I think that's fine. You know, policing ourselves is, is, a, is a decent thing. When you were blasting south to try to get ahead of the tornado, was there ever a point at which it occurred to you that maybe we ought to turn around and go back north? <sighs> well, it's, it's, a, it's a very valid question, and the answer is no. Um, and and we, we did something that we probably wouldn't normally have done in this particular circumstance, and I think a lot of things culminated to cause this to happen. Uh, almost every single time we stop to broadcast and actually physically get out of the truck, um, we always, um, our, um, our goal is to always have four escape routes, north, south, east, and west, and all four paved roads. This ended up being a road that was a divided highway where you couldn't make a U-turn because there was a divider down the middle. If there wasn't a divider down the middle, we probably would have just U-ed in the median because all our vehicles are four-wheel drive. We'd have just U-ed and gone back around. Going east wasn't an option. That had been toward the tornado. Um, north wasn't really an option to turn around. And west wasn't really an option for us either because most of those roads were dirt roads. And even though we do have four-wheel drive, as soon as they get rained on, they're muddy. And our tires aren't, they're, most, they're generally just road tires. So they're going to spin. And if you get caught even in inflow, you know, you're going to be slowed down. So um, something that we'll be very, very cautious of next year is having four paved escape routes um, that we didn't set ourselves up for success in this particular chase. So I'll take, uh, I'll take a, a couple more and then end it up. Did you and the crew catch any flack or heat from the higher ups after what happened? I uh, no, uh, surprisingly, <laughs> surprisingly no. Uh, I think were they. I think honestly, they were just very concerned. Um, you know, we had all, um, to some degree, been, been pretty shaken up. You know, Austin's injuries were more significant than we had originally um, known, and mine were were superficial. I had a few cuts and scrapes, three stitches in a knuckle, and that was that was it. Uh, but they were just generally concerned about, you know, how we were doing, how we were going to get home, how we were going to get taken care of medically, um, which was which was nice. All the equipment that you guys carry in your vehicle, I realize that like with the uh, microwave signals and stuff like that, a lot of the stuff is mounted. But how much loose equipment do you have in the vehicle? We do not have a lot of loose stuff inside the vehicle. Everything is mounted somewhere. Um, the, the loose stuff is probably like luggage. Uh, or, or a book bag. Most of our luggage is in our support vehicle, but I'll have, like, loose stuff is going to be, like, a cell phone, or camera. a camera, um, a book bag, stuff like that. I lost my book bag. I don't know where it went. I lost my phone. You know, those are things I, I wasn't able to recover. Um, but usually, just about everything in the vehicle is tied down, strapped down, screwed down, something like that. I'll take, I'll take more. Can you talk a little bit about the therapy on the road? Uh, sure. Uh, so uh, we, um, if, if you, um, just yesterday we revealed that the Weather Channel had adopted a therapy dog, um, which is a, a new initiative that we're um, taking on to help um, victims of natural disasters. Um, and we've teamed up before with groups that have therapy dogs and um, done stories on them after hurricanes. Floods, wildfires, tornadoes, um, and they are very helpful. They really help the emotional recovery for a lot of, especially children, because it gives children usually a sense of normalcy. Um, and it's amazing when you see, um, you know, these families who have nothing, their lives have been torn upside down, 
and all of a sudden in comes, you know, an, an army of golden retrievers. And you should see these kids' eyes just light up. And for that moment, you know, they're taken out of the, the disaster. And they're given that sense of comfort again. And I think that's what the Weather Channel is hoping to accomplish with our new therapy dog. His name is Butler, by the way. And he has a Facebook page. So if you guys want to check him out, we're really excited. We're really excited. excited and not at the same time. We know disasters are going to happen. Uh, but hopefully we can help, um, help a little bit in that emotional recovery process. Thank you all very much. I really appreciate it. From? He's not from Colorado, is he? I'm not sure. That's great. All right. Well, thank you very much, Mike. Hey, folks, get your blue and raffle tickets out here. We're gonna, Mike is actually going to draw a couple of uh, numbers. What we're going to do different this year initially is when we draw your number, you can come up to the table and pick out anything.